Hi, in this video I'm going to put together a circle easel card. Now the collection that I'm going to decorate it with is a Pollyanna Pickering collection called Sketchbook Collection Volume 1. Now this is a digital download collection from the Crafty Witches. Now I have cut all my mats and layers out which I'll go through in a moment but you are going to need some circle nesting dies. To start off with I like to use an actual card base to cut the base of my circle easel out. So I'm using my largest die here and what I'm going to do is where the fold is on your card base just leave a small gap so it doesn't cut straight through on the fold and then next I would use my tape stick it a little bit and then when I get that in the correct position I will just tape that down and then run it through my cutting machine you may have to do it a couple of times just so it gets through the two pieces of card but when it's gone through the machine you then will have this so I just open it up but as you can see the fold is still there because I left that small gap on the top and this is going to form my um, easel card. So just pop the dies out of the way. Now to put this together, what I like to do, I like to just make this a little bit stronger. So I've cut, uh, using the same die, I've cut another circle just out of white card and I'm going to attach that to the base there. Find my glue. Like I said, I'll just do this just so it just makes it a little stronger when it's it's stood up. Just make sure that's all in the right position position. And then because it overlaps on that corner, all I'm going to do there is just snip that piece off. Mm -hmm. And that makes the base just slightly stronger. Now this top part, what you need to do next is fold this in half. So I just take it down to where the fold is and then using my scoring pen, Just go over the edge and then that makes the base for, for the circle easel card so um, I'll do the top bit first so again I'll just go through what I've cut out so I've used the same size circle die and I've cut another one out there like I did on the bottom but this one is only attached to half of the top of the card so just put that out of the way. Now here's my mat. So I've got, I've chosen to do a, a black layer. And then this is one of the papers from the collection. And then a white layer. And then this is one of the circle toppers from the collection. So just attach these together. I'm just going to layer this onto the white card that I cut. Like that. And then I'm just going to attach that to the front fold. So I'll just place some glue on this part. And then 
just match that up and then that makes the top of the circle easel and then of course because it all it's all being cut from the same size dies it then will fold flat down for to fit in an envelope now this part I'm just going to add some toppers just to give this a little bit of height I said toppers in there, foam pads, okay. Glue all over my hands. So that's the front the card straight directly in front of me there and I'm just going to add that to the center of the top okay, so that's the top I mean you can decoupage this part too um, but for now this is I'm just going to leave that so my in on the um, the bottom part of the layer I've got a matching black circle then I've gone from one of the solid coloured papers and then a, just a white circle there and um, so you can write a sentiment and a message on there so just attach these together Now, actually, the most important thing on an easel card, I mean, that does stand up pretty well, but it's actually worth making a stopper. So I've cut a strip of black card. Um, I mean, you can measure, it can be the length of what you'd like, or just a small part, or you can even just put an embellishment on there just to stop the card from falling forward. But I've made this. And this measures uh, two and a half centimeters by ten centimeters, and then I've cut a white layer, and I've gone down to two centimeters by um, is that nine nine and a half, sorry, and that's going to go on there. And then I've used one of the other decorative papers, and I've just cut a small strip. And that actually is one and a half centimetres by nine centimetres. So just pop those together. Oops, nearly on the wrong one. Now for the stuff I'm going to use foam pads so it's raised up slightly. It just then catches the end, well the bottom of the circle. It does depend uh, where you want this to fall to where you want to put your stopper but if you want to keep this white part so you can write your message on there then your card really needs to be quite far back I mean another way to do this is actually to cut a half circle and use this to write to uh, write your message so because I've made this I'm going to put my my stopper about there
Okay. So card still will fold down into an envelope and then the stopper stops that from falling forward and a sentiment, well, sorry, a message can be wrote there. And then I've got a sentiment which I'm just going to attach to there. Um, maybe not, because I really want it just to fit in on a normal size envelope, so I'm going to attach that there. Okay. And that's a circle easel card, just made using dies. And it's, it's actually a very quick card to make. Um, there you go. Okay, I hope you like the video and uh, please have a look for some more and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.